Well, thanks for visiting us this evening at ArcletechsHomepage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses, and this is your Saturday evening into Sunday forecast update. Once again today, we've had a few scattered thunderstorms out there, and this will probably be the last push of thunderstorms here uh, overnight and early Sunday morning, and then we're going to dry out for the next week or so. But uh, the rain that's out there tonight, pretty lightly scattered. The heaviest rain staying just off to the east of us, but we do expect uh, some of this will hold together overnight. We actually do have a cold front that's moving in north of I-30 at the moment, and that's what's uh, eventually going to dry us out as that dry air settles in behind the front through the day on Sunday. So if you have some outdoor plans, a lot of things going on uh, this evening across the Arkletex. We should have temperatures here next few hours winding up in the 70s and eventually overnight uh, comfortable lows, upper 60s and low 70s for most locations. Of course, we're still dealing with the humidity here, but we are going to take care of that pretty quickly uh, over the next 24 to 48 hours. Basically what's happening here, you can see there's this area of low pressure that's up uh, towards Missouri and Kansas, and there's this cold front that trails down uh, basically through the Dallas area and you can see behind that front we've got nothing but dry air and that's the uh, lower humidity that will be kind of moving in during the day on Sunday we probably won't feel that big humidity drop until we get to Monday morning but with the dry air coming in with this front this should shut off most of the rainfall tomorrow so uh, taking a look overnight you can see just a little bit of rain holding together so I would expect that sunrise tomorrow most of us still waking up to those uh, mostly cloudy conditions but as we move through the morning you can see the sunshine rapidly coming back and the winds kind of turning to the northwest and that northwest wind is what is pushing all that dry air into the region. Uh, so again for tomorrow we've kept that 20% chance of rain in. Basically the front will be located here across northwest Louisiana once we get into the afternoon. So there's only a handful of parishes here. Bienville, uh, Red River, Sabine as well as Natchitoches parishes where we could see some rain pop up Sunday afternoon. Uh, the rest of us should enjoy dry conditions and plenty of sun returning through the afternoon. Even though it's a cold front, the only thing it's really going to do for us is just drop the humidity, which will uh, be a great thing for the week ahead, but with more sunshine tomorrow, we'll still wind up in the mid 80s. So the mornings for the next week will be very fall-like, 50s and low 60s. So we will get the cool mornings back here, but the summers, uh, summer like afternoons here, especially late in the week. But honestly, with the humidity low Monday through Thursday, it's gonna feel pretty nice out there. You should be able to cool off a little bit easier with the low humidity and humidity starts to build back in next weekend. So summer reminding us us. Uh, we're not quite done with you yet. We should be pushing 90 degrees again by next weekend. Two.